my veins. I call upon the strength that remains. Strength flows through me deep and true, empowering me in all that I do. I am a warrior, fierce and bold, with courage and strength to bold. My power is a fire, burning bright, guiding me through the darkest of night. Tell me that you went and made your spell work public and your protections public. Oh, sweetie, don't you know that renders your spell work useless? Hi, guys. So... Uh, I've been requested from two of my face groups, uh, Facebook groups, I'm sorry, to start doing a beginner series concerning practicing witchcraft. Uh, I know a lot of witches that have been on YouTube for a number of years, and they've done these types of videos, although I've done a few beginner witch things, giving them advice along the way, but... I've not done my own beginner witch series or videos or what have you. And a lot of witches I see are redoing these or have done them so long ago. And since I've been on YouTube a number of years and it's been requested, I think it's probably time that I implement this. Now, I'm really having an issue uh, in light of recent events, <laughs> which is kind of why I figured that I would start this, although one of the requests would be for me to go more through beginner Wicca, although I was a practicing Wiccan. Uh, I still do implement some aspects of Wicca into my practice. Uh, Wicca is a, I would say, a good form of how to begin in witchcraft. And it, it does sort of teach you a good means of beginning your discipline. That's just one person's opinion. Uh, other people have their other traditions and raise different ways. But if you're just coming into witchcraft, this is where I would, that's why I would start with. Um, but in any event, within recent events, I, I felt that this was something that was very important to start with and uh, it does concern spell work um i'm really getting tired and i know i'm going to come off as probably extremely bitchy and condescending when i say this and it's it, if you feel that way i'm sorry but i'm not going to waste my time i want to focus on people that actually want to learn so when I get really annoyed with some of the behaviors I've been seeing. So yes, I am going to at times come off as bitchy and condescending. Now, I'm getting really sick of people who feel like they want to throw on some witchy jewelry, throw a couple tarot cards up in the air, light a couple candles and say they're a witch. And it, it's, it, you know, because you think it's cool. I, as a practitioner, someone who's been a practitioner for eight, nine years, I am really, I find that kind of behavior extremely annoying. <laughs> so we're going to just go back to basics because some of the things I've seen, I, uh, <laughs> I, I just, we need to go back to basics. And for you people that are wanting to um, enter into the practice of witchcraft, you need to learn the difference between an actual practicing witch and someone who's just throwing on some jewelry, throwing some tarot cards and lighting some candles with this whole witchy aesthetic thing. And it's something, especially with Hollywood, um... You know, it's just, it's, it's just something I'm really becoming bothered by. <laughs> so, 
I felt that we would begin with the Witch's Pyramid. I'm just probably going to go over the basics of it and then do each one in a separate video just because of the fact that, you know, memory on my phone being what it is and we probably just need to break everything down and go through everything step by step. So, we're going to show some pictures. So typically it could look as a pyramid. Um, to, to will, I'm sorry, I had my papers, uh, messed up here. Okay, because I wrote notes, just so I, I, it always works better for me to have it, to have a script. To know, to dare, to will, to be silent, and although to go is not always necessarily, um, traditional, uh, it, 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 it to me is, is kind of important, very important. So sometimes you will see this as a pyramid, and then sometimes you will see that as a pentagram, because a pentagram or pentacle, I'm sorry, pentacle, um, would represent the five elements, earth, air, fire, water, spirit. Um, being that spirit is supported by your four pillars. And I don't know, that, that's, that's it's kind of the same thing in tarot. When it comes to the elements, it's going to be a bit repetitive. So, to know, associated with the element of air, um, okay, uh, let's see, associated with the element of air, uh, the spiritual journey is one of knowledge. Um, we must be constantly learning, questioning, and expanding our horizons. We must know ourselves before we can know our path. Well, that, we'll, we'll go into that one in another video in more detail. Uh, to dare um, with the element of fire. Courage is needed to grow. Dare yourself to step out of your comfort zone and force and, and oh, I'm sorry, and face the, the unknown. Okay. To will. Associated with the element uh Associated with the element of water, uh, let me see, uh, have determination and perseverance, read, study, follow your intuition, and practice, learn to focus and concentrate, be conscious of what, di what distracts you. To be silent, and I am probably going to start with this one, <laughs> because I, I have a little bit of a rant um, on this. But anyway, um, to be silent, associated with the element of earth. This, this, <laughs> this was, um, not, has nothing to do with educating people. So, if you have a question, you want to do a spell, you know, you can ask another witch for assistance, ask another witch to help you. Um, we're just going to go into this in a bit more depth. Um, <clears throat> it has nothing to do with educating people. Learn to value inner silence. <laughs> Recognize that sometimes it is better to be, or, um, that sometimes the unspoken word is more important than the spoken word. Do what is necessary when needed and then shut up about it. Um, park your ego at the front door. And park your ego at the front door. 
And, of course, never a reminder to never out a witch or another spiritual worker. Basically, if you have an issue with... I kind of don't agree if, if another witch is not following the witch's pyramid or doing something harmful or dangerous to others or giving others misinformation. That's a whole um, another another topic now the to go aspect it is not traditionally part of the witch's pyramid but some groups do implement this uh, it makes sense to me so to go is about how um you have mastered or figured out how to maintain balance and keep the other four pillars of the pyramid so to speak in balance how to implement all four of these four all of these four pillars um, into your life and um and move forward with this um and to go forward and basically how to balance all of the elements because this is actually associated with the element of spirit and if you don't have the other aspects of your life or in this case your practice mastered and balanced out then that is going to affect spirit which is also going to affect your spell work now i feel that in light of recent events it is more important for me to sort of go out of order, as we say, and start with the keep silent aspect of the witch's pyramid. Because, again, with the whole people with the fake witchy aesthetic, anyone who has been a practitioner for any amount of years knows that when you are doing any type of spell work, you don't go public with it. Now, we may do tutorials to educate witches on aspects of spell work or how we're making a powder or making an oil or, or doing a protection type of thing uh, in order to educate novice witches. But there is not a witch on social media who is going to show you from point A to point B every single aspect of their spell work and if and, and we've all been at the point where we've all have made mistakes and talked about you know we learn again to learn so we have learned from our mistakes when you've been a practitioner for any amount of years and we're still learning and when you're doing a spell and you go, oh, I cast a spell on so-and-so because she lied to me about a paycheck and she owes me money. And when you make that public, when you take your breath and send that out into the universe, that makes your spell work basically null and void. All the energy, the time, the herbs, all of that, you have just basically crashed it <laughs> okay you have just undone everything that you have done and especially when it comes to your protection magic when you say oh i have wards i have this ward that ward um then another witch or another practitioner could use that to their advantage not to mention the fact that uh they can figure out um, what other things they could do to basically get past your wards or your protections. And for the love of Pete, if you think that a, a witch is hexing you or going after you or trying to hex you, you don't go and you don't make that public. You just don't. Because that shows that your guards are down. And if, if you've made other practitioners angry because, well, you've been a little asshole. And I've seen a lot of little young assholes on here. Um, then that's going to 
basically give other practitioners another means of getting around your wards. And outing other witches, light workers, or practitioners, that is an ethics violation simply because of the things that happened during the witch hunts. Um, and, and, and outing them as witches, it's sort of like a secret code. And you don't, unless they're doing something harmful or dangerous or unethical, of course, yes, absolutely out them. But because you got mad at somebody because they're not doing something that you like or... You know, you don't like you having a personality conflict and to just sit up here and and make that public is just, it's childish. It's middle school mentality and it, it, it makes you look like you have the mature, maturity level of an 8th grader. And I really find that to be problematic. And when someone is acting like an idiot, and as long as you maintain yourself and your level of maturity, and you keep silent, they're going to be the ones that look stupid. And I really have a problem with the fact that someone's been an idiot and said and done stupid shit, and then they want to play victim because, oh, someone's hexing me. Um... <sighs> It just, it, I find it just very childish and very annoying. And it just shows that you don't have the maturity or the grounding or the balance to even be practicing in the first place. And it shows that you are not the practitioner that you claim to be. And it is giving the rest of us who are, are really... A bad name and with things being the way they are in this day and time it's it's just you're just basically giving the opposition being those that are against witchcraft fuel to the fire and when people out you for being an idiot or for doing stupid stuff and then claiming that you're trying to educate people and you're teaching them things that it that you should already know and know better and then when you're outed for it uh, it it it's just it really it it's just this whole thing again with the witchy aesthetic if you were a practitioner for any amount of years then it's not stuff that you you know you you would be doing and not only that you're claiming that you want to teach and, and you want to educate people but all you're doing is just educating these younger witches um, the wrong way. So, that is the, um, little rant that I have, and I'm probably going to do individual videos on the other aspects of the Witch's Pyramid, just because we need to basically start from the basics. So, peace, love, and light, guys. Bye.